Today we are going to show you how to install the Classic Stair Rail. The Classic Stair Rail comes fully kitted and includes top and bottom rails with aluminum inserts, balusters, mounting brackets, and hardware. Kits are available in 4 to 10 foot lengths, 36 inch heights, and in white, tan, or clay. Tan and clay are only available in 4 to 8 foot lengths. Before you install the classic stair rail, you will need safety glasses, a pencil, tape measure, a drill, power miter saw, and a speed square. This system is installed between two posts, which are sold separately. To install, make sure the posts are level and plumb. Place a 2x4 on the steps for spacing, then place the bottom rail on top with baluster openings facing up. This should result in a 1 and 3 quarter inch gap from the bottom rail to the leading edge of the tread bull nose for your bottom marks. Measure the gaps on each end until they are equal in distance. Once you find your measurements, mark rail for cuts. Make your cuts using a miter saw. We recommend using a 10 inch 82 carbide blade. When making the second cut, pull the aluminum insert out about a quarter of an inch. This will cut the aluminum insert slightly shorter than the vinyl extrusion and reduce the chance of the aluminum scratching the post sleeve during the installation. Remember, you do not need to make angled cuts because of our unique mounting brackets that allow for 23 to 38 degree installations. To install, put the mounting brackets on each end of the bottom rail, line it up with the marks, and install using the included screws. Keep in mind that the screws go in on an angle, so you will need to position the brackets closer toward the edge of the post to compensate. When using ColorGuard steel post bracket, it is best practice to put the screw in until you've hit the filler, back it up a bit, then go forward until it snugs the bracket. This will prevent deformation of your post sleeve. Pro tip! For the lower screws, we recommend using a right angle drill attachment. It just makes things a lot easier. Insert balusters in the first and last hole. Then insert the balusters in the top rail and measure the gap between the two posts. Adjust until even, then mark for cuts. For this, mark where the post meets the side of the top rail. Then, using a speed square pressed against the post, mark lines on the underside of the top of the rail and the top side of the lower part of the rail then cut with a miter saw. Insert all of the balusters into the bottom rail and put mounting brackets on each end of the top rail. Then insert balusters into the top rail. Once in place, install using the included screws. Add the self-drilling rail screw with hinge caps, then snap them to conceal the screws. Add bracket covers to hide the screws and give it a nice finished look. Finish it off with some post caps and you're done. Thank you for watching. For more information on Color Guard railing systems, including product information, options and accessories, installation instructions, and inspirational ideas, please visit us at colorguardrailing.com.